everyone, welcome back to another Bochi Knot Macrame Knot series tutorial on Bochi Knot and Bochi Knot.com. My name is Nicole, and today we will be going over a knot called the Pitcher Knot. You will need one long strand of cord to make this knot, and with that, let's begin. Take one long strand of cord, fold it in half, and place the loop and flat down. And then place the left cord over the right cord and using the now right cord, make another loop on the right. Then taking the left cord, make one more loop to the left so that you have a total of three loops. The purpose of this knot is to make a round circle pattern so that you can hold a pitcher or jar in the middle to hang up. I will show you guys towards the end of the video how I hung up a mason jar that I had onto a dowel. So once all three loops are made, we're going to cross the far left loop over the left side of the middle loop. And then the same thing with the middle loop over to the right loop. Then. With the crisscrossed left loop and the right loops in the middle, we're going to pull the left side over to the right and then the right side under and over to the left. Pull on those loops on the left and the right, the ones I'm holding on to. These loops will form the handles of the jar that you are trying to hold. This knot may be another creative way to hold your plant jars or plant pots if you are planning to hold it on to another object such as a dowel or you can have it hanging from another strand of cord as well. And now I will show you guys how I took this knot and hung up a jar that I had at home. So as you can see, I have a dowel hanging up and I made a larger version of the pitcher knot as you can see here. I'm going to wrap the middle large hole around the mason jar that I have and then place the handles through the dowel to hang up. Another great idea for this is if you want to hold candles in the middle of the mason jar, then you can do that as well. You have to make sure that your knot in the center is nice and secure so that the jar does not slip or fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if there's other knots that you guys want to learn in the comment section below. And if you want to check out other knots like this, you can check out my Bochi Knot Macrame Knot Series playlist on the channel. Thanks, and I will see you guys next time.